Value of debentures is two lakh fifty thousand. So premium will be twenty five thousand. So total payment will be for debentures is two lakh seventy five thousand. They have told us the issue price of the share is rupees four, but number of shares issued is not given. What is the number? They have not given. So they have told it is valued at eight percent less. So this is. 100 minus 8 that is 92 so 92 by 100 hello everyone i am purnima faculty in the department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore i welcome you all to this session in this session we will be having a discussion on the journal entries in the books of the purchasing company here The first entry will be for business purchase. What will be the entry? Business purchases account debtor to liquidator of selling company. So what will be the amount? So the amount will be the purchase consideration which is paid by the selling company. Then the next entry will be for the various assets taken over by the purchasing company. So the various assets taken over account debtor. Then, if the goodwill is taken over, that also debtor to various liabilities taken over to debentures in selling company to business purchases account, being the above assets and liabilities taken over. Now, the next entry will be for the payment of the business purchase consideration. So, the liquidator of selling company account debtor to bank to equity share capital account. Two preference share capital account, two share premium account, being the purchase consideration paid. Next, so if the debentures are taken over by the purchasing company, the entry will be debentures in selling company account debtor, discount on issue of debentures debtor, two debentures account, two bank account, being debentures of selling company discharge. Now, if the purchasing company Has taken over certain debentures from the selling company, so the, those debentures have to be discharged, and the entry will be in this way: debentures in selling company debtor, discount on issue of debentures debtor, two debentures account, two bank account. Then the last entry will be the for if the expenses, if the realization expenses are paid by the purchasing company, the entry will be goodwill or capital reserve account debtor. to bank account being liquidation expenses paid now if the liquidation expenses are paid by the selling company itself then the entry will be realization account debtor to bank account because it is an expense which has to be debited to the realization account now next we have a problem here for calculation of purchase consideration so for the calculation of purchase consideration we have one problem let us see amar limited agreed to acquire the business of madhur limited on 31st march 2014 as on that date the assets of madhur limited were valued at 7 lakhs 50000 the creditors amounted to 50000 and 14% debentures repayable at 10% premium were rupees 2 lakhs 50000 The purchase consideration was discharged by the issue of forty thousand equity shares of rupees ten each, and the balance in cash. You are required to calculate the amount of purchase consideration. So they have given us the various balances here. So the assets were valued at seven lakhs fifty thousand. So the value of assets is seven lakhs fifty thousand. Then. Next, they have given us the value of the liabilities. So the creditors are amounting to rupees fifty thousand, and debentures are repayable at a premium of ten percent. So the value of debentures is two lakh fifty thousand. So premium will be twenty five thousand. So total payment will be for debentures is two lakh seventy five thousand. Plus this fifty thousand, it comes to three lakhs twenty five thousand. So the total liabilities is three lakh five thousand, and the total asset value is seven lakhs fifty thousand. So the purchase consideration was discharged by the issue of forty thousand equity shares of rupees ten each. 
So they are issuing 40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. Now what will be the value of equity shares issued? 40,000 into 10. So 40,000 into 10 will be 4 lakhs. So 4 lakhs is the value of equity shares issued. Then they have told the balance is paid in cash. So they have not mentioned what is the balance to be paid in cash or what is the actual cash balance which has been paid. Now in the absence of this information, we should consider that this is a purchase consideration to be calculated on the basis of net asset method. Since they have not specified what is the cash balance, so we will be uh, forced to just calculate the purchase consideration on the basis of net asset method. Since they have given us the value of assets clearly, they have given us the value of the liabilities clearly. So when everything is clear, so we can say that it is, uh, they have to have a purchase consideration of 4,25,000. So out of this, 4 lakhs is the value of equity shares issued and the rest of the 25,000 is paid in cash. So we should assume that this is a purchase consideration calculation based on net asset method. Then, so here we have the calculations here. So calculation of purchase consideration. So this is the value of assets taken over. So 7,50,000 is the value of assets taken over. Then value of liabilities taken over, creditors is amounting to 50,000, debentures is 2,50,000 and there is a premium of 10% on this. So 10% comes up to 25,000, so total will be 2,75,000. So this is the value of debentures to be, value of debentures to be redeemed. So paid up. So 2,75,000 plus 50,000. So you add these two, you get 3,25,000. So purchase consideration is calculated on the basis of net asset value taken over. Since asset value and liability value are specifically given, we can calculate the net asset value by deducting from the assets, I am deducting the total liabilities. So from this, if I deduct 3,25,000, I get the balance as 4,25,000, which is the value of the net assets in the company. So 4,25,000 is the purchase consideration. So this purchase consideration, it is given that purchase consideration was discharged by the issue of 40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each and the balance in cash. Now, the purchase considerations, it has been paid in the form of in equity shares and cash. Equity shares and cash. Now, what is the value of equity shares they have issued? So, 40,000 into 10. 40,000 into 10 will be 4 lakhs. And then, and the balance in cash they have told. Now, what is the purchase consideration we have calculated as per the net asset value? 4,25,000. From this, if we deduct the value of equity shares, we get the cash balance which has been paid by the company. So, cash balance paid. So, this is 25,000. So, the amount of cash paid by this transfer company to the transferer company is not specifically given. So, the purchase consideration is calculated under the net asset method. So, we have calculated the purchase consideration under the net asset method. Next, now we have the second problem here. Bhagya Limited sells its business to Sao Bhagya Limited as on 31st March 2014 on the following terms and conditions. The assets of Bhagya Limited are valued at 2 lakhs. The liabilities are valued at 75,000. So this is the assets and this is the liabilities. It paid rupees 25,000 for the shareholders of Bhagya Limited. Then the balance of purchase consideration is discharged by the issue of shares of rupees 2 at rupees 4 per share. 
show how the purchase consideration is discharged by Saubhagya Limited. So, in this, they have given the value of assets, they have given the value of liabilities and they have also mentioned the exact value of cash to be paid. They have told us the issue price of the share is rupees 4 but number of shares issued is not given. What is the number? They have not given. So, let us first see how to calculate the purchase consideration. Now, the value of assets taken over is 2 lakhs. The value of liabilities taken over is 75,000. So, purchase consideration will be 1,25,000. So, in this, they are paying 25,000 in cash. So, the share value will be 1 lakh. So, 1,25,000 minus 25,000. The balance to be paid in shares is 1 lakh. So, to calculate the number of shares issued, amount to be settled by the issue of shares divided by the issue price. Now, what is the issue price here? Rupees 4 per share. So, we are issuing 25,000 shares. So, in this way, we have again calculated purchase consideration on the basis of net asset value. See, if the value of assets, a value of liabilities is given, then it means that you have to calculate the purchase consideration on the basis of net asset value. So, there is the working note here, the amount of purchase consideration discharged by the issue of shares is not specifically given. So, the purchase consideration is calculated under the net asset method. The number of shares to be issued by the transferee company in settlement of the purchase consideration is ascertained by dividing the amount of purchase consideration by the issue price and not the face value. So, here the issue price becomes important and not the face value. The shares of the face value of rupees 2 each are issued at rupees 4 per share. The issue price is rupees 4 per share. It should be taken to calculate the number of shares issued. So, they had to pay a value of rupees 1 lakh in shares. So, the issue price is 4 rupees. So, we are issuing 25,000 equity shares. So, 25,000 equity shares are to be paid here. Next, so we have one more problem on calculation of purchase consideration. So, let us see. LXI Limited agreed to take over the business of LX Limited on 31st December 2021 on which date the balance sheet of LX Limited was as under. So, we have the shareholders funds. So, this is a vertical balance sheet here. So, under the equity share capital, we have 14,000 equity shares of rupees 100 each. So, that comes up to 14 lakhs. Then general reserve 10,000. Profit and loss account, there is a loss of uh, 60,000. Then non-current liabilities 2 lakhs. Then we have the trade payables 2 lakhs. Other current liabilities 50,000, bills payable 40,000, total liabilities 2 lakhs. So, total of equity and liabilities is 18 lakhs 40,000. Then we have the net assets at 18 lakhs, discount on issue of debentures 10 lakhs, preliminary expenses 30,000. So, total comes up to 18 lakhs 40,000. So, the asset side is 18 lakhs 40,000. The reliability side also is 18 lakhs 40,000. Now, the market value of 75% of the sundry assets is estimated to be 12% more than the book value and that of the remaining 25% uh, at 8% less than the book value. So, the liabilities are taken over at book values and there is an unrecorded liability of rupees 25,000 calculate purchase consideration under net asset method. So, they have specifically mentioned that we have to calculate the purchase consideration on the basis net asset method. So, we will see how it is calculated. So, the calculation of purchase consideration as per the net asset method. So, the sundry assets, they have given us the book value at 18 lakhs. So, 18 lakhs is the book value. Now, out of this, they have told that 75% of this is valued at 12% more than the book value. So, written here, 
18 lakhs into 75 percent. So, 18 lakhs into 75 percent. When we are calculating 75 percent of 18 lakhs, it comes up to 13 lakhs 50 thousand. Now, this 13 lakhs 50 thousand into 75 percent of the sundry assets is valued at 12 percent more than the book value. So, consider that the book value is 100. So, for 100, the value will be 12 percent more or 12 rupees more. So, we will add 100 plus 12. So, the, if the book value is 100, book value is 100, it is taken agreed value is 112. So, plus 12 percent. So, I am taking it as 112. Now, 13 lakhs 50 thousand into 112 divided by 100. So, when I do this, I get 15 lakhs 12 thousand. That is the value of 75 percent of the assets taken over. Then, 25 percent of the sundry assets is valued at 8 percent less than the book value. Now, again, out of this 18 lakhs, I am, I am taking 25 percent of that. So, 25 percent of 18 lakhs will be 4 lakhs. 25 percent of 18 lakhs will be, so it will come up to 18 lakhs minus 13 lakh 50 thousand. So, when you calculate this, I get 4 lakh 50 thousand. So, 4 lakh 50 thousand into 92 percent of that. So, they have told it is valued at 8 percent less. So, this is 100 minus 8 that is 92. So, 92 by 100. So, 4 lakh 50 thousand into 92 by 100. So, this 92 by 100 will be on uh, 4 lakh 50 thousand. So, I am getting 4 lakh 14 thousand. So, when you add these both, I get 19 lakhs 26 thousand. So, this is the value of assets taken over. Then, next we have the debentures at 2 lakhs, 100 creditors 2 lakhs, bank overdraft 50,000, bill payable 40,000 and unrecorded liability is there, it has to be included. So, all this comes up to 5 lakhs 15,000. So, when we deduct from 19 lakhs 26,000, I am deducting 5 lakhs 15,000. I am getting the total of 14 lakhs 11,000. So, this is the purchase consideration. So, it is, it is 14 lakhs 11,000. So, this is the purchase consideration. Next, working note. So, the expression business taken over means that all realizable assets and all liabilities payable to third parties are taken over. Then, fictitious assets that is discount on issue of shares, preliminary expenses, debit balance of profit and loss account are not realizable assets and are not taken over. So, not realizable assets, we should not uh, take it as the asset taken over. Then claims of shareholders which include share capital and general reserve are not taken over. So, these are assets not taken over should not be taken into account for calculation of purchase consideration. So, if you can see here, we have taken all the assets which are realizable and all the liabilities only which are to be paid to the outsiders and then we arrive at the purchase consideration of 14 lakhs 11,000 and here is the note for that calculation of purchase consideration. So, with this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.